I'm somebody that needs to feel really passionate about what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis and I wasn't feeling that with Formula One. So I started to try and look for things outside of work that would really give me satisfaction and fulfillment and baking became one of those things. From a really young age, all I wanted was to design Formula One cars and I was actually offered a job working as an aerodynamicist for the Williams F1 team 18 months out of university. When I finally got to Formula One, the job was maybe not quite what I expected. And the team that I worked for at the time, we weren't at the front of the pack. And when you're not at the front, you're chasing the people that are. I came back to Australia and I decided to get a job working literally on the counter of a bakery because before fully committing to like leveling up and potentially going back to study, I just wanted to reassure myself that I'd made the right decision in terms of pursuing a career in baking. It might not sound like engineering and baking go hand in hand, but for me, they're so intrinsically linked. And Loon is so unique solely because of my previous career and then my transition to where I am now. So I actually ended up developing a new technique to make croissants. So the layers that we create the pastry with, it was very much from an engineering mindset. So a lot of trial and error, experimentation, changing one variable at a time. If I hadn't made that decision to go back and study, there's no way that Loon would exist. Like it's given me a set of skills that's enabled me to change my life.